Good morning, everyone. Today, we want to discuss an interesting topic, which is suture materials and surgical needles. I'm Dr. Ala Musbah, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura University. Let us start what we want to discuss the definitions, duration of tissue healing, classification of suture materials, the absorbable sutures, the non absorbable sutures, suture size, surgical needles. Okay. Any strand of material used to ligate blood vessel or approximate tissues is called suture. Also, surgical suture material are used in the closure of different wound types. And this is uh, some examples of suture material of different varieties. Also, we should know the what's called tensile strength, which is a measure of the time it takes for suture materials to loss to loss seventy to eighty percent of its initial strength. Also, what's meant by initial tensile strength? is a measure of the amount of tension applied in a horizontal plane necessary to break the suture material. So we should know the tensile strength and the initial tensile strength very well. Note strength is the force required for a knot to slip. Simple like that. So what about the duration of tissue healing? What is the time needed for tissue healing? It differs according to the part of the body. Sometimes it takes days, like muscle, subcutaneous tissue and the skin. <clears throat> Sometimes it takes weeks to months, like fascia, like tendon. So it needs longer time. Sometimes it takes months to never, like vascular processes. So, let us speak about the classification of future material. It can be divided into two big categories, absorbable and the non-absorbable. Also, it can be divided into multifilament or monofilament. Also, it can be divided into synthetic or natural. So, I have different types of classification and we will cover all of them simply. So, future could be absorbable or non-absorbable and a non-absorbable one could be synthetic or natural also could be multifilament or monofilament. Absorbable suture could be synthetic or natural. Also could be multifilament or monofilament. For example, absorbable suture like vacril, is it synthetic or natural? Is it synthetic one? What about the natural absorbable, like chromic cat gut? What about the monofilament and multifilament? We have also BDS as a monofilament. What about the non-absorbable suture? 
and absorb of the future like proline which is synthetic one or nylon or natural like cell suture okay also monofilament like proline so I have different types of classification the two big group absorbable or non-absorbable somebody start with multi-filament or monofilament suture and they will see okay what is the ideal suture what is the criteria for ideal suture the smallest possible to produce uniform tensile strengths also securely hold the wound for the required time for healing then be absorbed also it should be predictable as regards the tensile strengths produce minimal reaction easy to handle and denote securely very important So, for example, this is bowel anastomosis and this is vascular anastomosis. Which suture is suitable here? Could be buccal suture. Which is suitable suture here? Is a proline suture. This is what we wanted to say. So, there is suitable suture material for different tissue parts or different corpses. So here in bowel anastomosis, vacuole, here in vascular anastomosis, proline. Okay. So let us go to the absorbable suture. Absorbable suture are broken down by the body via enzymatic reaction or hydrolysis. The time in which this absorption takes place varies between material location of the suture and patient factor so different factors okay affecting it like material of the suture itself location of the suture which part of the body the suture in and patient factors or patient characteristics commonly used for deep tissue and the tissues that heal rapidly examples small bowel anastomosis suturing in the uterus during cesarean section or mimectomy urinary or biliary tract surgeries so absorbable suture is clear now and this is one of the example of absorbable suture, which is vacuole suture. Okay. We need some example for the absorbable suture and to know about the complete absorption times. For example, vacuole R is polyglactin. And the original vacuole, vacuole or absorbed earlier than original vacuole. The complete absorption time here is 40 days, while for original vacuole, 60 days. And it is synthetic and the braided suture. What about monocryl? Monocryl is a synthetic monofilament suture. 100 days the absorption time what about bds bds is a synthetic monofilament suture can continue up to 200 days what about the chromic cat gut which coming from bovine intestine mostly collagen it is natural braided multifilament the absorption time 14 days so each 
type of suture has its absorption time and you choose the suture, the suture according to you want this suture to maintain for longer time or shorter time okay what about the non-absorbent suture as in this example in the picture this is nylon and this is polypropylene used to provide long-term tissue support, remaining walled up by the body's inflammatory process until removed manually if required. So sometimes you keep it inside, sometimes you remove it. Uses include tissue that heals slowly. That's why I need non-absorbable suture. Tissues that heal slowly, like fascia or tendons, or during repair of hernia, during hernioplasty, or tension suture to the anterior abdominal wall, or vascular esthmosis, it need a long duration. Again, some example for non-absorbable suture: insulin or nylon. A synthetic monofilament suture, polypropylene or proline, a synthetic monofilament suture, silk, a braided natural suture, polyester, retibon, braided synthetic suture, What about the classification according to the raw origin? I have natural one and synthetic one. The natural one made of natural fibers like cell or catgut. Okay. They are less frequently used as they tend to provoke a greater tissue reaction. Also, they may carry risk of transmission or infection in case of catgut. Because catgut coming from bovine intestine. So, two problems here. Greater tissue reaction and transmission of infection. However, suturing sulk is still utilized regularly. In securing of surgical drains. Many countries all over the world nowadays never use catgut, by the way. What about the synthetic one? Compressed of man made materials like BDS or nylon suture. They tend to be more predictable. than the natural sutures, particularly in their loss of tensile strength and absorption. What we wanted to know, if we wanted to classify according to their structure, monofilament suture or multifilament suture, what about monofilament suture? A single-stranded filament suture like nylon, BDS, or proline sutures, they have a lower infection risk, but also have a poor node security and ease of handling. So the advantage here, it carry low risk of infection because it is synthetic monofilament suture. Okay. like nylon, BDS, or brulee. What about multi-filament suture made of several filament that are twisted together like braided silk or vacryl? 
the handle easier and hold their shape for good note security this is at an advantage yet can harbor infection so it can harbor infection more than monofilament suture but on the other side it's advantage of good note security and the easier in handling What about the suture size? The diameter of suture will affect its handling properties and tensile strength. When choosing suture size, the smallest size possible should be chosen. And we said this before. Taking into account the natural strength of the tissue. This is important. The large the size ascribed to the suture, the smaller the diameter is. For example, 6-0 or 6-0 suture is smaller than 3-0 or 3-0 suture. Okay. And of course, 3-0 is bigger than Or zero. Okay. A while three zero is less than six zero and and so on. So with the increase of the number before zero, this means this future is smaller. Okay. So you may uh, seven zero is smaller than 6-0. is smaller than 7-0. We can say 0 or somebody say 6-0 or 3-0. Okay. Also, I have other number like 0 or 1 or 2. This big size. Huge. What about the color coding for suture material? From this table you can see yellow suture like plain cat, brown suture like chromic cat, violet suture like vacuum, blue one like proline -like suture, black one like silk suture, white one like cotton. Let us go to the surgical needle and in this picture different sizes of surgical needle in different curvature. Surgical needles allow the placement of the suture within the tissue with minimal residual trauma. The ideal surgical needle should be rigid enough to resist distortion and this is very logic. Yet flexible enough to bend before breaking. Yes, this is very important. To bend before breaking. Although it is rigid enough. Be as slim as possible to minimize trauma during penetration. Sharp enough to penetrate tissue with minimal resistance. And be stable within a needle holder to permit accurate placement. Of course, when it is fixed well in the needle holder, the placement of this needle will be accurate. Use the tissue. Okay. Again, with surgical needles. Commonly, surgical needles are made from stainless steel. The swatched end connect the needle to the suture where the swatched end this is the swatched end and this is the needle point this is the swatched end okay connected the needle to the suture the needle body 
This is the medial body in this picture. Is the region grasped by the needle holder? Here we apply the needle holder. Needle bodies can be round cutting or reverse cutting. You will see in the picture. This is the needle bodies type, round bodies needles, cutting needles, reverse cutting needles. Round bodied needles are used in friable tissue such as liver and the kidney. Cutting needles are triangular in shape and they have three cutting edges to penetrate tough tissue such as the skin, sternum, and they have cutting surface on the concave edge. This is the cutting needle. The cutting surface on the concave edge. This concave. What about the reverse cutting needles? Have cutting surface on the convex edge. This one. And are ideal for tough tissue such as tendon or subcuticular suture and reduces chances of suture pulling through tissue. Let us see some picture to explain more. We said we have rounded body and we have cutting and we have reverse cutting. Okay. This is round but tapering, tapering needed. Here the cut section, this is the mark for round and the point inside, so this is tapering. If there is no point inside, it is blunt, just blunt. But this is tapering one. So the mark will be like this. And you can see this circle. Yes, this is the tapering one. What about the conventional cutting needle? Two opposing cutting edge with the third one inside curve. Inside curve. The cutting inside the curve in the concavity as we said before. So it looks like that because the, the cutting edge in the concavity and the mark will be like that like this triangle what about the reverse cutting edge here the cutting edge on the outer surface on the outer surface or on the convex surface so in concave surface it is a conventional cutting needle. In outer surface or convex surface, it is the reverse cutting needle. And the mark will be this. If we see this mark on the suture label or cover, we understand now this is reverse cutting needle. And we will see examples later on. Okay? What about the needle point? Needle point, as we see in this picture, could be tapering, cutting, reverse cutting, plumb, like this one. And we said if this circle without point, it is plumb. If inside is there is point, black point, this is the taper one. If triangle, it is the cutting one. If reverse inverted triangle, like this one, inverted triangle, this is the reverse cutting one. Okay. The needle point acts to burst the tissue. Can be either sharp or plump. Plump needles are used for abdominal wall closure and the infriable tissue, and they can potentially reduce the risk of blood-borne virus infection from needle stack injuries. Of course, plant needles and needle stack injuries will be less hazardous than other 
pipes. Sharp needles purse and spread tissue with minimal cutting and are used in areas where leakage must be prevented because here there is minimal cutting. Okay, purse and spread tissue with minimal cutting. This is a sharp needle. What about the needle shape? We can see in this picture some varieties of needle shape. The needle shape vary in their curvature. This is the curvature. This is the curvature. This is the curvature. And this one is the curvature. And the R described as a proportion of circle completed. Okay. So we can see we have the one quarter, three eighths, one half, and five eighths. Look to this picture, please. This is the one half. As you see, the, the curvature is one half circle. This is called one half. And you will see in the label of the suture, some of them, one half circle. So you understand now the needle looks like that. While this one is three eighths circle, this is three eighths circle. While this one is one quarter, yes, as you can see. While this one is five eighths circle, as you see, like that. Other varieties of needle shape, like G shape, compound curved, half curved part straight and part curved and the straight one why different curvature they are required depending on the access to the area to suture this picture show the suture package the label what is written here you should know very well as you see here this is the manufacturer this is the brand name Isilon or nylon and this is the future material polyamide and this is the size of the suture this is 5.0 or 5.0 and this is needle code and this is needle length 19 millimeter what about the curvature or shape as we said before 3 8 3 8 so if you see 3 8 you understand now this is the shape the curvature or shape of the needle and this is the needle itself the image of the needle what this mark for this is for reverse cutting. As we said, if we set the inverted triangle like that, we'll say this one is reverse cutting. What's the criteria of reverse cutting needle? The sharp cutting edge is present on the convex border, the outer border. Right? Right. Here is the suture length. Here by inches, 18 inch, and here by centimeter, 45 centimeter. So now we understand all what is written here. Of course, this is the expired date. And we hold the needle from this part by needle holder, from this side. Okay. Lastly, I got some examples for different types of vacril. Vacril 2-0, vacril 3-0, vacril 5-0. Which one is the smallest one in diameter, in size or diameter? D, 5-0 of course. 5-0 is smaller than 3-0 and 3-0 is smaller than 2-0. Okay, 
that's nice. How many centimeters this suture in each package? In this one, 70 centimeters. In this one, 45 centimeters. In this one, 45 centimeters. Please tell me which needle in each one, which type of needle in each one. I see this mark. This mark means it is tapering needle. Tapering its end point or its point is tapering. Okay? Yes. What about the curvature and shape? It is one half. Like this. What is the length of the needle? 36 millimeter. Okay? This is the length of the needle. For this one, what is the what is this mark? This is the reverse cutting needle. What is the curvature here? Three eighths circle. What is the length of the needle? Nineteen millimeter. Of course, nineteen millimeter is smaller than thirty six millimeter. So this needle is smaller than this one, and the tap or point here of this needle is reverse cutting while this is tapering or taper needle what about this one this one five zero or five oh 45 centimeter the suture what about the needle this mark denoting that this is the original cutting the cutting point okay what is the curvature here three eighths circle what is the length of the needle is 13 millimeter so it's a very small needle as you see in the picture here it's small because 13 of course this is smaller than this one right so this is different varieties. What is difference also in all these rather than the size of the needle, the type of cutting edge or the end or uh, 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 the point. Here is tapering, he is reverse cutting, he is cutting. There is difference also here is antibacterial. We add antibacterial for vacril and this is a special category in vacril suture used especially in uh, anastomosis of the bowel or whole organs to decrease the possibility of occurrence of infection okay so this is called antibacterial one so this is coated vacril plus this one okay this is the difference between all these types of vacril okay so this is my end of our uh, lecture today i hope it was uh, clear enough thank you i'm dr alam Sbah. Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura University.